also on YouTube. See, I'm out here on the road and testing out the new uh, 520 sprocket change and also the new chain. We'll see how it operates, see if it uh see if the bike actually acts any different with the with the change, see if I feel any um, weight differences and everything like that. So far the bike is uh feels very nimble still. Alright guys, the bike feels uh excuse me for sorry for the wind noise too, so it's really windy windy. The bike feels really nimble, especially around the corners. Uh, wheelie control, I can feel it. I don't want to wheelie so bad right there. Uh, you wanted to do it again. This thing wanted to wheelie up the hill. Hey, Chris. <laughs> oh, this bike is crazy, man. This thing wanted to wheelie up the hill. Yeah, but there's a cop down here or not. Slow it down. Oh, I don't like a cop. Let me hit this turn. It's like whenever I, um, I'm gonna take, well, I'll take off a roughly, it's gonna... Right there, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Definitely a wave savings for sure. I feel it. And a bike went a willy more too. I don't know if that has to do with the uh, conversion from 525 to 520. I don't know what it bike wanted Willie more and it definitely feels more like weight. Gear. <laughs> this thing is insane. Look at this person will pull out. Like 60 degrees. I don't even have a leather jacket on. This feels so good. It's just windy. That's a little, it's a little bit windy. But other than that, other than that, it's pretty fun. Good. Yeah, guys, I'm liking it. I'm digging it so far. The 520 chain conversion. Oh, it's like sandwich stuff over here. Lightweight. Savings. I like the way the, uh, the bike shifts better too for some reason. I don't know if that's anything to do with that. Comment down below, let me know. I guess I'll, I'll do some more research too, but comment down below, let me know if uh, the conversion. I, well, I guess it makes sense though. I mean, the chain, the chain, I changed my chain, so it's a better chain than, was, uh, than the stock one. Um, it's rated for, it's like a heavy duty chain. It's rated for, um, uh, 11 to 1200 cc's and this is obviously 11 to 3 so it's the proper chain for it so yeah man I'm digging it I like the way it looks
The first time I'm able to use the uh, this quick action uh, gas cap since I bought it and put it on. Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars to fill this thing up, just so y'all know. And it's three three gallons. Okay guys, just wrapping it up. Whew. Man, it's been one. All I can say is man, I like it. I'm glad I did it. I did it myself. I had to pay nobody to do it. And it actually turned out good. So I'm happy about it. I oh, man, I'm happy about it, so yeah, so if you guys are um, pondering about doing it for your bike, um, I say do it. Um, I'm by no means a uh, mechanic or anything like that, and I did it myself. So, um, so you guys can look up, research how to do it, look at other YouTube videos and stuff like that. But yeah, I like it, man. I, I could definitely tell um, there's a, a slight weight difference. It seems more nimble in the turns. Um, it seems to want to, to take off more, and it seems to. What well, the bike could be breaking in too, though, because like I'm hitting uh, breaking miles, but it seems like the bike wants to wheelie a lot more for some odd reason. Um, anybody knows? Comment below. Let me know if, uh, if the 520 chain kind of promotes that more, um, more wheelie in. And it feels like, and it does take off faster in first gear too. But uh, yeah, so that's that's wrapped up about that. Um, I guess I'll walk around the bike. And show you guys all the other stuff I did to it in case you ever watched any of my other videos. Um, we'll start off with this. This is a EK Racing black and gold chain. Um, this is a super light uh, rear sprocket. Uh, the, the nuts and the uh, carrier is from Duke of Bike. Then I have the uh, front nut up here. Then I have the uh, Evo Tech rear sliders. Uh, and I have a Duca bike tur uh, tur signal. I have the Duca bike kickstand pin right here. Uh, and then we have the Evo Tech front sliders. Um, I think that's it for now. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. These are the Evo Tech frame sliders, and these are the Evo Tech front sliders right here for the front axle. Uh, these are no name uh, bar and mirrors. I got these from. Uh, Amazon, I guess they're what are these? What does it say right there? Fin, fin rear, uh, whatever. But yeah, so that's that. So those bar ends. Um, the ones I actually want uh, are coming in shortly, so I'm gonna replace those because they kind of vibrate when the bike is, is at, at idle. Uh, I'll wrap these in carbon gloss, carbon fiber. The radiator uh, covers. Uh, then we have the Duca bike. Um, I'm trying to remember all the names of all this stuff. This is the Duca bike. Um, I forgot the name of these things. Uh, caliber spacers. Duca bike caliber spacers. They're in red to Master Brimbo. Uh, and then we have the uh, Pooch um, windshield right here. Uh, what else we got? That's it for this side. Oh, yeah. Well, since I'm over here, might as well show you guys these. We got the uh, Rizoma um, se sequential turn signals. Let me show you guys these. These right here. Look at that. How bright they are. Sick. I love these things. I'll show you what they look like from afar. Put the flashers on. Uh, 
Oh yeah. That thing's nasty. I love those. No issues with those whatsoever. And at night they're super bright. I think I'll do a night vlog and show you. Frame sliders. Nothing on this side is different from the other side. That, oh yeah, I got the uh, solo seat. I bought this off of eBay. That's the um, the solo cow. Um, when you do the solo solo cow, you pretty much have to take off. I mean, you probably should just take off the uh, passenger pegs because it'll look weird having passenger pegs and you have a solo seat. Uh, those are I don't know. I'm not sure if these are even name brand. I got these off of eBay, but yeah, they're actually they act as tow hooks too, so you can actually wrap around um, um, around there and tow the bike. Um, and here's the uh, I got a Duca bike. Rear axle uh, nut in black, and then it's the other side of the EvoTech. Um, I'm going to replace this silver one, so don't don't comment on that. This this gonna, this is gonna be black also. Uh, and I got this carbon fiber pinion. I'm not sure who the company was with this. I forgot the name of it. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for right now. All the other mods I got. Um, oh yeah, I got this up here. This carbon fiber piece right here trim. I don't know if you guys can even see it right here around here. Uh, and then of course, seeing that, the quick action uh, gas cap from TWM. I think they, uh, from what I heard, they are the original that makes this uh, quick action gas tank TWM. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, Street Fighter. Um, I'm digging it. All the uh, mods I got on it so far. Oh yeah, I forgot about this too. This back here. Um, this is the NRC. I think it's called NRC. But yeah, the Tail Tidy Kit. I'll show you all that. So yeah, so that looks good. So when it's sit, so when it's sitting there with all the lights off, it's, it's black. It blends in with the bike better. So yeah, so that's it. Wrapping it up. Like I said, so far I'm happy with the chain. We walk back over on that side. I'm happy with the chain and the sprocket, the front sprocket. Let me see you guys see that up here too. That, that's super light. In my video, I could, you can actually really feel that. I see why they get their name super light because it is very light compared to stock. Um, I also feel like the uh, quick shifter is acting different. But then again, like I said, man, I haven't written in a while. As you see, there's still a little bit of snow over there. So I haven't written in a while, so I could just everything could, could just seem brand new to me. But all right, that's enough rambling on with the bike. Um, please remember to comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it, and if you've done this with the bike, and if you like it. So far, I'm digging it. Um, I can't wait to get in more rides in the spring and summer. So yeah, uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, peace. <laughs>